go. But the thing I like most about being down here are the old fiddle tunes and the old songs I hear and learn, because I love them. I've been trying to play the fiddle for several, several years now. I won't tell you how many, but anyway, uh, I do hear a lot of old-time songs down here that I never hear anywhere else. I'm going to do one now that I, I learned from my daddy a long time ago. He was an old-time fiddler called Buy All the Cabbage Down. <laughs> Tonight we have Aunt Ollie Gilbert, and Aunt Ollie can sing you 500 old songs and never look at a note. This is something I never knew of a mind like her. Aunt Ollie? Aunt Ollie's 83. It rained a mess, it rained all day. Two little boys went out to play. Went out on the grass to play, play, play. Went out on the grass to play. The first ball tossed. It was too high. The next one was too low. The next one was in a jewel's room where no one is allowed to go, 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 where no one is allowed to go. I see Mar Jackson walking down the street, talking to a pirate by the name of Gene Lippy. He gave Gene a drink that he brought from Tennessee, and the pirate said he'd help us drive the British in the sea. Oh, the French said, Andrew, you'd better run, for pike and hounds are coming with a bullet in his gun. Oh, heck, we said he didn't give a damn, he's gonna whip the britches off a Colonel Pike and Helm. Fired our guns and the British kept the cut, so what night as many as it was a while ago. We fired once a more round of baby gathered on it, down in Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We looked down the river and we see the British come And there must have been a hundred of them beating on the drum They stepped so high and they made the bugles ring While we stood beside our cotton bales and didn't say a thing Oh, Hickory said we could take them by surprise If we didn't fire a musket till we looked them in the eyes We held our fire till we see their faces well Opened up our squirrel guns and really gave them hell We fired our guns and the British kept a coming So wasn't I as many as it was a while ago we fired once more, and now they began to run down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Thank you so much. Each April and each October, we have a folk festival at Mountain View. And, of course, there are, well, thousands of people come to the folk festival and uh, well uh, to show you something about the crowds in one year we had 103,000 cars that isn't bad at all of course for a uh, little town of 1500 people sometime during the festival we move the big show out to the outside uh, uh, part of the auditorium where the, a lot more people can see and they can be in the open air too you know now a lot of the people that come to the folks there uh, bring their own lunch bring a basket lunch or however they want to. But if you don't have your own lunch, there is a place close by where you can get sandwiches or, or what have you. At the uh, place where you get your hamburgers and so forth, there's plenty of ice cream. But I'll tell you what, if you get some, you better establish ownership uh, pretty soon. A lot of the visitors who uh, come to the Folk Center, they like to see where this whole thing began. So they take a side trip over to the Court Square. Now with the crowds that we have during the festivals, of course there's music and there's jig dancing. Well, all over the community, all over Folk Center USA. For instance, up at the Uptown Theater in Mountain View, there's Jimmy Driftwood and the Rack and Sack people. And uh, uh, over at the firegrounds, there is the Saturday night uh, group who call themselves the Mountain View Folk Horse Society. And on the court square, there's just everybody having a great time. Uh, Any time, of course, that there's fast music in the Ozarks, especially at the festival, there's going to be jig dancing. And uh, you, you'll notice that this jig dancing is not just by the Ozarkers. You may have people from San Francisco to New York doing the same thing. 
<laughs> One thing sure, that when they do get started, they really cut a mean rug. at the beginning of this show that you was going to see a lot of things that you've never seen before. I guess you can say that you've seen them now, but there's one thing for sure. You really haven't ever seen them until you have seen it in person. Believe me when I tell you that Mountain View is the place to get away. <laughs> 